the theatre usher before deciding to take to the stage himself. Oh, David Mitchell, he's posh. Yeah, he's one of the Salisbury Mitchells. Very posh. Mm -hmm. You're back on stage. Yes. I mean, it's been a while coming, hasn't it? Did you <laughs> always want to be on stage? I, th I think so. I mean, certainly since I was uh, a teenager, I, I, I loved being in plays and performing. I didn't know I could do it as a job, and, I, and it was something, you, if you said you wanted to do it as a job, people weren't necessarily that welcoming of that idea. Um, but, you know, turns out, I, so far, I have, so that's great. Here we are. But, yeah, I was an usher for a bit, and that was... Um, Depressing, because, you know... See, I was an usher. I loved it. Well, that's because you've got a nicer personality. <laughs> I, I, I stood there, I looked at the people on the stage and I picked holes in their efforts and thought, why aren't I on that stage? Why do I have to tear these tickets? Well, I, I, mm. I thought and sometimes said. <laughs> not during the play. <laughs> you know, I was a professional. <laughs> like it. Uh, well, David, your West End debut was very much to be or not to be because oh. of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. like that. Um, but the, the good news is that the upstart crow is back now. So, um, you know, why don't you tell us a little bit more about it? Well, yes, we, we, yeah, we were on. We were supposed to be on for like three months and then it was cut short by the pandemic and it was going really well. We were so proud of the show and, you know, I, we, we all thought it was great and the audience, it's either they were really good at acting or they liked it as well and we'd worried about everything that could have gone wrong in terms of doing a new play in the West End I, I was terrified that you know we'd get bad reviews or my knees would pack up or various things <laughs> the one thing I hadn't worried about is that the all of the West End theatre is closing because of a pandemic for the yeah. first time since the 17th century <laughs> and that turned out to be the thing I should have been worrying about um, but yeah we're on again from uh, September to the beginning of December this year, and I can't wait to get back to it. And then tell us a bit about Upstart Crow and what the premise is. Then. Well, it's about Shakespeare. I play Shakespeare, and it's yeah. based... Uh, we did a TV show, a TV sitcom. It's written by Ben Elton, and he imagined Shakespeare as a sitcom character, as the sort of centre of a sitcom world, put upon, aspirational, uh, undervalued, cross, uh, all the, the classic sitcom... Uh, sort of features and this is a play based on that and it's I think it's some of the best writing he's ever done and it's it's I mean really sort of funny in a way everyone could understand but also he knows a lot about Shakespeare there are a lot of jokes in jokes about Shakespeare that uh, that you enjoy if you know more works about on two it. levels it does work on two yeah. levels and uh, seats are available on three levels so that but it's uh, it, it's I mean it's a really funny show and it ends with a dance um, which What's I not to like yes I mean it, I, I even managed to learn the dance. I like it. So, and, and my, you know, as I say, my knees were fine with it. It was just COVID. That was the problem. <laughs> Gosh, it's worth getting a ticket just for that, David. Yeah. <laughs> yes. We never thought we'd yeah. see you dancing. Uh, now, David, on a separate note, like, everyone here today has been on Would I Lie to You. Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, your panel show, where you've got to basically tell the best lie and get away with it, and you've got to pick the holes in it. But I wanted to know who not just out of us lot, has told the best lie of all time on the show. I mean, obviously, you, you four we have great, been the right? best guests. I mean, we were great, yeah. <laughs> we were all great. Apart from you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. um, so I'm scraping the barrel already. <laughs> uh, I, I, uh, I, I mean, Bob Mortimer, oh, I think, yeah. it has the ability to tell... I mean, it, the difference between truths and lies in his life are impossible to discern. <laughs> he has lived such a weird life. And even now, having been frustrated, having been, I would say, humiliated, by him several times on television, I still can't remember which things were true. Which <laughs> did. The thing is, he yeah. c I couldn't believe you went for the, um, it was the rear with the egg in the bath. Yeah. And you... <laughs> yes, well, yeah, but, you know, I've been through a lot. Chris Before Rhea. I believed the egg in the bath, <laughs> I disbelieved that he did his own dentistry by balancing <laughs> on a kitchen unit with a light there. And so, and so I said, so once that's true... That, I mean, anything. Anything. Oh, on the table, yeah, that is it. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Brilliant. Well, David, good luck with Upstart Crow. Um, it'll be on at London's Apollo Theatre in Shaftesbury Avenue for 10 weeks from the 23rd of September. Yeah.